Today, we're opening the first 11 Yu-Gi-Oh sets ever. Then we duel. What's up, guys? We're back with another video where we open packs and then we duel against Rhyme Style. This one is for the 250K special, so we're opening some old school packs. So this is going to be an old school retro kind of duel that I know you guys love, and I really enjoy just seeing all those old school cards, you know, 1,200 attack, attacking each other. You know, it's, it's good stuff. I also want to remind you guys about the 250K giveaway going on this week. We're going to be giving away a CGC, Dark Magician Girl. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below who will win this duel. And what do you think will be the best pack that we open in this video? That Dark Magician Girl winner will be selected from one comment out of all seven videos. So if you make a comment on every video this week, you give yourself the best chance. This video is sponsored by Ruxin34. I have just released my first ever playmat to celebrate 250k. This playmat includes everyone's favorite moth and gives us a glimpse into his story. This story is fan fiction only, so it is not official from Konami. A young moth crawls rapidly through the woods. He knows that time is running out but he can't miss this moment. At long last, he makes his way out of the underbrush and gets a glimpse into the beautiful night sky. He was just in time. The larger, more experienced moths zoom above him, giving him a few seconds to admire their power and beauty. One day, that will be me. He thought as the last of the larger moths disappeared into the distance. One day, I will be called great. Along with the backstory, these mats come along with a brand new Ruxin 34 logo, which also have a one in 25 chance to be the starlight version. Ooh, ah. And there's a little Easter egg with another channel favorite somewhere on the mat as well. We'll see if you can find it. I think you guys probably can. And yes, the first edition logo on these mats does mean something. These mats will be available on Ruxin34.com and some will be sold on Whatnot as well until the end of October and never again. So get yours now and don't miss the chance to Pequeno on your opponent because I will never be reprinting these mats. And if you only like your play mats where they have the zones on them so you can see where you're placing all your cards, don't worry, both options will be available on Ruxin34.com as well. Thanks to everyone for checking these out. I love the design. Shout out to Cross Hearts. And I hope you guys love it as well. Now back to the video. So I didn't actually mean to have this many packs in the video. It'll probably actually make our decks better, but I actually ended up sending uh, Rhyme Style five legendary collections instead of three. The plan was three legendary collections and then one of the other five packs. So we have one of each pack and the first 11 sets. I accidentally sent in both of our legendary collections. So we ended up with five. So we're also going to be opening five. So luckily for you guys, you get more pack opening, more old school, thanks to my mistake. <laughs> so it's going to be fine anyway, like three and five. Like, what's the big difference? We might as well just open them up. I actually did not have enough of these 25th anniversaries. The plan was two 25th anniversary, one old school game board. So now I had to open two game board, three legendary collection, 25th, because that's all I had left. So the only difference will be, uh, I guess, the quarter century rare. So I will get one less of these, but that doesn't really matter because we're going to have three copies of each of these cards anyway. So we're going to be able to potentially play God cards, blue eyes, dark magician, red eyes, any of that stuff. So uh, we might be looking for a little God card action. That could be kind of cool. Ron Style almost did that to us in the last Battle Pack video. Go check it out if you missed it. So we might as well do it. Uh, try it at least. So I'm going to start with this one. We're going to go one at a time. And then when we get to the last one, I will do the last, like the first 11 packs. So let's get to it. Got to keep in mind, every card could potentially be in our deck. So we want to pull something good. Incandescent Ordeal. Well, Jama Trio is not horrible, but I doubt we play that. Uh, Sasuke Samurai number two. Sasuke Samurai number two paid 800. Spell and Traps cannot be activated. He's 200. He's kind of low. Falling down if we want to play Archfiend like Doug Zeef did in the uh, in the Wheeled Goat. He, I mean, that was a pretty sweet deck. Kelbeck. Killback's actually a really good card. After damage calculation, return to the hand. It's 1800 defense. I'm probably going to put that in our deck. Wicked Flamborg and Terror King Archfiend, another Doug Z special. If we get enough Archfiends, I'm going to set these aside. If we get enough Archfiends, that could be a thing that we do. And this card isn't bad either because it does get 500. So I will consider that. I'll put that in the maybe pile. I open that first because usually Dark Crisis, I'm like, eh, not my favorite set or whatever, but kind of a really good set, you know? <laughs> kind of a lot of great stuff. There's stuff popping up on my screen. I I hate when I forget to put not or put do not disturb on three from the back. My voice has been like gravelly. I feel like for like two weeks. I don't know what is going on. Maybe I've just been doing a lot of recording. I think that's what it is. Darkness approaches. Umi Ruka. So sorry about that. Firecracking. Stone Ogre Grotto. So far, not a lot of great cards here. Uh, we might look for some field spells in Magic Ruler. Malevolent Nuzzler. OK, a better booster. That's like a 700 boosting attack. And then you can optionally put it back on top. I'm actually going to go LOB because LOB we're kind of just hoping for like really, you know, the big power spells. We're also doing an unlimited format, so you can use three of everything. So we really want to pull something big multiple times. Pot of Greed's also in here. So come on, Vile Germs, give it to us. We have five, I guess, LOB packs. 
Oh, that was it. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Skill Servant? Okay, maybe not. Okay, Pharaoh Servant, Jinzo time. Jinzo would definitely make it in our deck. This is gonna be a longer opening part, which I know you guys will like, so. Longer opening, we'll be doing a duel, a best of three at the end. It's been super fun doing these. This is our third episode of the series. We've done Retro Pack, we've done Battle Pack, and we've done now the first 11 sets. So let me know in the comments, what do you wanna see in the future from us? What should we do next time? Like what's a cool product that we could do? Uh, the simpler is simpler is great. It's also cool if it's like it has something cool to pull, you know, because like I'm sitting around style some packs. So like if he gets a cool pull, he can put it in his collection. So it's like it's kind of a win win, you know, and if I pull something good, obviously I can keep it as well. So Moth, stim packs, not bad. Share the pain's not bad. And a skull knight and Moth. That was actually a really good pack right there. That was a really good pack. That's some good stuff that we may or may, we're definitely playing Moth, but we may or may not play the rest of it. If we can get a Pog, that would be great. I mean, last time I activated three Pot of Greed on Rhyme, so I feel like I probably uh, don't deserve it. I'm going to put Yellow Luster Shield as a potato. What is this? What is going on with the focus here? Calm down, buddy. Blasting Fuse, Blasting the Ruins, different thing. Sylphid is actually pretty good if you play wins. What is happening with the focus? Whoa, okay, just stop recording. What is happening? Okay, I really hope that weird focus thing wasn't happening that whole time, but I, I think it was, my clamp was pressing down on one of the buttons by accident. Whoops, Molten Zombie, uh, so we will continue from here. Mad Dog's at 1900, I'll pull that out. Griffin's Feather Duster, I don't think, yeah, Harpy's Feather Duster's not in any of these, so. Okay, here also, we do need to open these because we're going to potentially play God cards or Blue Eyes or something. I mean, we could, you know, it's an option. So we have, obviously, the Obelisk, Slifer, and Winged Dragon Raw. So if we wanted to play any of these, you know, these are not technically the playable ones. We're going to allow them to be playable. Uh, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, and then a second Obelisk. So we're going to have six of all of these, so we don't really have to open all of them. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys Obelisk the Tormentor. Very cool. Once again, I've been summoned to duel the one, the only Ruxin in a draft duel where we get to open nice uh, physical cards, and then we duel a master duel. You know what I love about doing these is he sends me the cards and get to keep them afterwards. Like, I feel like I'm the winner here. Even if I lose, who really lost? I won. For this one, though, it's a bit special, because not only do we have the game board edition, uh, which consists of the first original six packs as reprints, but we also got Legacy of Darkness, Ancient Sanctuary, Pharaonic Guardian, Labyrinth of Nightmare, and Magician's Force. If I pull Dark Magician Girl, I'm putting it in my deck. I'm just I'm letting it right now. Right now. I'm, I'm letting it right now. If I pull Dark Magician Girl, She's gonna be in the video. All right, let's go ahead and just go down the line. Uh, for LOB, we want anything like, like the powerful cards. By the way, the rules are, if you pull multiple Monster Reborns and Raigekis, you get to play multiple. So we want the power cards in this. We want the Monster Reborns, the Raigekis, the Dark Holes, the Board Wipes, the Board Breakers. And the first one, Flower Wolf. Awesome, so we are playing none of these cards out of this one. Oh no! You know what, let me just get the LOB packs out of the way. I'm gonna just do an LB. I'll, I'll do them all like in, in order of, I guess, the way the stacks are. All right. Do we get Pot of Greed? Do we get Raigeki? Any of that stuff? No, we do not. We get nothing. Oh my God. The the LOB packs are whoo, not good. But we have at least multiple chances. So here we go. Oh, I, I, I completely shredded this one. Let me get something I can use. Something powerful. Something mighty. Two pronged attack. This is not looking good so far. This is not. If if Ruxin pot agrees me multiple times, I'm flying out. I I I have to fly out at that point. I got I gotta fly out. That's what I gotta do. We got Trial of Hell, Dark World Thorns, Turtle Tiger. Fisher's not bad. I'll take the Fisher. I'm gonna put this to the side right away. So far, out of uh, Lob, the only playable card that we have is is Fisher because Fisher is actually not bad. All right, the final Lob pack. I'm looking for anything playable. I don't want, <laughs> this is the first time you're ever gonna hear me say this. I don't want blue eyes in this. I don't, this is, oh, this is older. Oh, this is from the game board edition. So this pile was the original one when they released this in like 2014. These are all from like the recent uh, 25th anniversary, as you can tell, because it says 25th anniversary in the top. Oh, for a second, I'm like, why was that so clear? I thought I, I thought I was green screening through that. Here we go. Ooh, look at that different stock. I don't. I do not want blue eyes or dark magician in this. This is the only time you ever hear me say this. Armed ninja, great, dude. Look at the difference in these cards. Like just for comparison, let's see. Do we have anything I can show? You know what? It doesn't matter. You you can tell it's bad. All right. So now we're down to metal raiders. Let me actually get this in the correct order. Well, you know what? Let's do legacy darkness. We'll go down to order, and then we'll do like a like a an because these are all OG packs. We'll do an OG pack at the end end of every single batch. So legacy of darkness. What is the LOD? Is well, Yada Garasu, right? Yada Garasu, I want to say. Uh, what else is LOD? I guess we'll find out. 
Frontier Wise Man, Possessed Dark Soul, Super Rejuvenation. This is actually a really good card in Edison. We got Otohime. Creature Swap! Oh my god! Oh, look at the OG! Ruxin, this is a great pull! Yo! Look at that. Both players select one monster on their respective field, not target, select. Select and uh, switch controls. That's so sick! Dragon's Gunfire, Wing Beetle, Giant Dragon, Manipulator, and that. Let me let me grab a sleeve right away, because, oh my goodness, hello! Creature Swap, the OG Creature Swap at that. Oh, that's so sick. Next box, let's start off. Let's just go uh, LOB because LOB is really just a Hail Mary for good cards. Like, it's like you got to hit Pot of Greed, you got to hit Dark Hole, Rygeki, something like that. Machine, Conversion, Raise Body Heat, Metal Dra- Oh, I didn't do it. Oh, Curse of Dragon. Uh, I feel like we're going to have some bigger cards than that, but that's a rough super because that could have been Dark Hole, Rygeki, something like that. That's okay. We're going to go straight through. I'm not going to reorganize these because... We're really just looking for good cards this time. Armored Lizard in terms of playable. Okay, 2K Defender. Armored Zombie with that zero defense. Pale Beast, Rux and 34. Empress Judge. Oh, Gucci can attack directly. Shadow Ghoul is kind of cool. And Bickery Bickery Box. All right. Not an amazing one there. Pharaoh's Servant. Here we go. Can we pull the Jinzo? I didn't do a pack trick last time. I'm still going to do the pack trick. Okay, Numinous Healer. Island Turtel. Mr. Volcan, wait, Island Turtle's a 4K, de or 4K defender, imagine, 2K defender. I'm sure there's somebody that has 4K defense. Cold Wave's pretty good. I didn't even think about that card. Thousand Eyes Idol. Oh, Ruxin Special. Backup Soldier, if only we could play Exodia. That would be really cool. Otherwise, not exactly that great. All right, three packs left in this one. In number two, we have a lot of packs to open today. Yaku Guy or Panda, isn't he a burn card? It's not too bad. Falling down, Archfiends, baby. We have Morale Booster, Gravity Act, Grrrl, Fairy of Spring, Skill Drain, and Dark Scorpion Chick Yellow. Okay, Skill Drain, that's not a bad card. Probably not as relevant here, but if we get a bunch of like, I don't know, if we got like Giant Orc or something, it could be good. Goblin Attack Force, stuff like that. Electric Lizard, Crab Turtle, Octo Burser, Commencement Dance, Lapper of the Wall, Horn of the Unicorn, not terrible. And Jig and Bacadam, the Exploding Pyro. One pack left, IOC. Can you give us a Chaos Sork? That'd be cool. Right, Koki's not bad. DD Borderline. Coach Goblin, little Rocky action. Thunder Crash. Dark Triceratops. Gora, Turtle of Illusion. Desk Kangaroo. Blazing Apache's not too bad. This could be fun if we could make, make that work. Wow. All right, on to Metal Raiders, which I believe is the second set, right? And then it was Magic Ruler, right? I forgot the order. All right, uh, Metal Raiders, we want all the Mirror Forces. As many mirror forces as possible. Starboy, that's not it. Thunder Dragon. If we end up pulling uh, BLS, we're definitely going to toss the Thunder Dragon package in there. Put these actually in, in order. We got to put the Thunder Dragon package in there if we can, of course. Now, again, it just comes down to it comes down to if we pull those. German Infection, Tongyo, Ancient Lizard Warrior, Yosube, Oshin Ningen. And nothing, well, I mean, no, that's level five. Well, that's 1800 attack is kind of nice, but it's a level five. We're not tributing for that. Dream Clown. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing potential. We can do clown control potentially. I'm trying to think of stuff as I'm going. But again, uh, once I do the actual deck profile, I'll, I'll make a decision of which cards to play. I, again, it has to be pulled if it goes in a deck. Lava Battle Guard, Stim Pack. <whistles> Sangan is going to be great. And Horn of Heaven. But this card is not as good as you, as you thought it was. When a monster would be summoned, tribute one monster, negate the summon, and if you do, destroy that monster. Would be summoned is such a weird ruling. I don't think I'm going to play Horn of Heaven, but I'm going to put it in a, in a potential pile. It, it is also an ultra, so that's not bad. Ring of Magnetism, I used to always use this card. I forgot what, what, what I used to use it with. Uh, but that card is actually annoying because you can just equip it with something that you, you know, once your opponents attack, and then they have to attack into it. It's a possibility. We'll see. Protector of the Throne, Punished Eagle, Swamp Battle Guard, Launcher Spider. <whistles> Fake Trap. Ah, nothing behind that one. Okay. Again, the one I want the most out of uh, Metal Raiders 100% is going to be... The last chance here is going to be the Mirror Force. That card is has caused so many trust issues back in the day. Like, it's literally... It's so key to winning an old Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, Sword of Deep Sea. That's a great card. I used to uh, always play that as well. Baby Dragon, Labyrinth Tank. In Mask of Darkness. Damn, that was a bad one. Oh my god. Okay, so nothing really cool out of Mel Raiders. All right, 
We're gonna go into Ancient Sanctuary next. Ancient Sanctuary is the Hell Palmer is out of Pharaonic Guardians. Literally the card in the back. Ancient Sanctuary. I don't remember what was in here yet. I mean, once I see the cards, maybe I'll remember. We got Piranha Army. We got Human Wave Tactics, Atomic Firefly, Soil Flare Dragon. That's a good card if I can get another one of these. Legacy Hunter Super Rare. Okay. 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 Not bad. Knight Assailant is probably the best card in the set. Or one of the best cards, at least for comments. This is a staple. That's a great card. Immediately going to go into the pile. Immediately goes into the pile. Mystical Shine Ball. And Delta Attacker. Okay, that also wasn't that bad. Let's get into this third legendary collection. See what we can pull. Oh, wait. Let's do a little pack trick for a little luck. Come on. We really want super rares out of here. Or rares versus ultras. There's not a lot of great ultras. Because we already have access to Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Dark Magician. Exodia is not going to happen. Two pronged is removal. And so again, okay. Hello, B. I was asking for your help. And it seems like you are not doing it. Metal Raiders. We've got Moth, which would be good. Sangan would be good. They're not as good because they're errata and Master Duel, so they would be a little worse, but still pretty decent. <laughs> I'm getting all the terrible foils so far. That's really, it's Curse of Dragon, that, and have we got anything else? Terror King Archery. Okay, I guess that's not too bad. Sword Hunter's not too bad. Uh, Harpy, Harpy's Brother, 1800, we'll take it. Four Star Ladybug of Doom, not too bad either. Modern Goblin Official, attack and receive. You only attack this card when you take damage to your life points. Inflict 700 points of damage to your opponent's life points. Also inflict 300 to your opponent's life points for each attack and receive card. It's a burn card. Weird. Spike bot. Force requisition. Doku Ro Yaiba. Okay, pretty bad pack that time. I mean, Sky Scout, four star. Maybe we'll make it into the deck. We'll see. All right, DCR. Come on. Yaku Guy or Panza again. Little burn. Falling down number three. Man, if I had Archfiends, this would be great. Gravity Axe, Grarl. Fairy of the Spring. Dark Bishop, Archfiend. Wait, which one is that? What is that? What in the world is that? What the? It's like an imprint of something. It looks like a pequeño moth or worse. What is that? That is crazy. Okay. And then contract with Dark Master. That's pretty weird. All right. Spell Ruler. So far, Spell Ruler, you've been kind of bad. I mean, there's floaters in here. Like, give us some good floaters, right? Liquid Beast, Darkness Approaches, Psychic Kappa. Come on, Ancient World. Come on, Luminous Spark. Okay, 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 Giant Rat. Of course, a Sanctuary. Increase the defense of all defense position monsters by 500 points. I like that card. Might have to boost a little defense or a little defensive strategy. Could be fun. Okay. Come on, Evasion of Chaos. Let's keep it up, baby. Self-Destruct button. Terror King Salmon. I got to reprint or retrain. DD Borderline. Okay, there are no spells in your grip. Okay, that's weird. Chaos Sword, let's go. Chopman, the Desperate Outlaw. Hiya! There he goes. Enraged Battle Lock's pretty good. And Anti Air Cloud Flower. Okay. Chaos Sword, we could put together a little Chaos deck. Or just have a side of Chaos. Now we're on to the old school Legendary Collections. I had to open two of these because I ran out of the other ones. Starting off with Spell Ruler. Spell Ruler was Snatch Steel, if I remember correctly. Right? Snatch Steel. It was Premature Burial. Gravekeeper 7. I used to love this card. Um, but it, it's. I don't know how good this is going to be in a uh, draft duel because if I end up milling light and dark for him, I'm, I'm going to screw myself. We got Performance Sword, Taylor the Fickle, Dark Witch, Nimble Momonga. Okay. Malevolent Nuzzle is actually a decent card. Upstart, also a decent card. I feel like any draw power I get, I have to go for it. On to the next pack. For Feral Summon, we definitely want to get Jinzo. Jinzo is going to be key. Peacock, Turtle Oath, Boar Soldier. It's a 2,000 attack wall, but it's like, it's a big downside to it. Commencement dance. Giant rat? Ah, giant rat's good though. It's, you know, anything that like uh, floats, I feel like will be good. And floating into earth, uh, I have a bunch of options I can go for, I think. All right, let's keep it going. The only thing I don't want to see as an ultra here is probably going to be relinquished because then we need to make sure the next pack has the uh, black illusion ritual, which I don't know if I still want to play that, but I don't know. Fire Kraken, Hungry Burger, Spear Cretan, Whiptail Crow, Mother Grizzly, another floater. Ah, and then nothing behind it. I'll put, I'll put the floater over here just in case. Ooh, this pack is kind of butt cheeks. All right, Spell Ruler number five, right? Or number four, four. Curse of Fiend, Snake Fang, Shining Angel. We got an Ultra in here. Confiscation, we can't play this in the game. It's uncraftable. That would be a good one though. Shining Angel is great. Um, 
I'm almost positive you can't craft confiscation. This is one of those cards that was banned. Master Law has this thing where a lot of uh, forbidden cards are not allowed to be crafted, and they start adding over time, and then they stopped. They stopped adding. The last time they added uh, banned or forbidden cards was, I want to say it was like, it was some FTK stuff from like the later years, but from like the OG stuff, like they added premature burial and heavy storm and stuff like that. And then Heavy Storm now is, of course, is legal. So it's been a while since they gave us these cards back, but I really wish they would give us more. Like, let me play Delinquent Duo, man. Let me play Delinquent Duo. Wall Shadow, of course, Sanctuary, and Darkness Approaches, and Koto Dama. All right, the final Spell Ruler pack. Again, this is the OG release. Uh, Re-released, OG reprint. So the card stock is going to be way different. I mean, look at this. You, you can just tell. Like, it looks like a fake card when you compare it to, like, these. All right, Snake Fang, Magical Labyrinth, House of Adhesive Tape, Black Pendant, yo, okay. I mean, equip spells are good. I don't mind that. I'll put that right into the pile. Missing Tomatoes, also fantastic. Penguin Knight's great too, right? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Uh, no, I'm thinking of, of Penguin Soldier. Penguin Soldier and like Penguin, what was the other one? I played all the time. The one that's uh, when you flip it, it's got 1800 defense. Yeah. Tailored Fickle and Eternal Rest followed by Twing. Twin long rods, so that wasn't that great. But good news is, is we get to hop in. Where is my? Hold on, where's my? Oh, here we go. My first one pack. We do get to hop into a another OG pack, OG print, and this time we're for Ronnie Guardian. Ronnie Guardian. I know a Hell Palmer's in there, but I'm I, I forget what else is in here. Find out. I just need something playable. That's all I need. Something playable. Narrow Pass, Molten Behemoth, D Tribe, Birdface. Bro, I'm getting all the ultras. <laughs> oh my god. Ruxin, were these heavy? Like, were these guaranteed heavy or, or not? Nah? Because the luck has been amazing. Bro, if you did not grow up in the OG Yu-Gi-Oh years, it was rough. You would get so many packs from, like, stores and stuff, and you, they were always just regular risk. Pulling a foil in the OG days was so hard to do. Banner of Courage is a great card. Uh, Curse of Aging. Yomi Ship is also fantastic. And Giant Axe Mummy. Yeah, dude, this is, these are some great, great packs, man. Okay, PSV. I just realized we just opened a 2014 one. I probably should have saved that. That one was from 2014, so 2017. That's kind of cool. Okay, so these are actually not 2017 packs. These are, as you can tell, 2014. That's pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I think it's four from the back and the flippity flop on the old school ones. All right, blindly loyal. So these are like the old, old cards. Staunch Defender, pretty cool. Little wind guard. Little wind guard's not a terrible card. Keldo, precious cards. DD Trainer, 2K Defense, Guardian Bell, and Rod of Silence, Kist. Okay, there's not really anything to necessarily lean our hat on or uh, whatever you say, whatever that saying is. Lean our hat? Is that really right? I guess it's kind of like, like a hook in your hat. Oh, the cousin moth. Very nice. Okay, Gazelle. I have to pull the cousin moth out. Gazelle and Kojikazi, seven colored fish. Harpy Lady, Robin Goblin ain't bad, and Kazijin. Not a great foil either, but hey, that's pretty cool. Looks really good. Kazijin, come on. Opening these old ones definitely feels cool. Like, they feel a lot more like the old school. One, two, three, four from the back. Flippity flop, floppity flip. Heart of the cards give us a hit and a good hit, like one that's playable. Insect Barrier, Spike Bot, Garuchin Kuwagata, World Suppression. You can activate when a spell spell card is active. Negate the field spell card during the turn. Okay. Bombardment Beetle, Hayabusa Knight, double attack. And Gradius could be good. If we have Malevolent Nuzzler on it, 1700, double attack. LOB, come on, baby. It's like if we get a good pull, it's great. If we pull Blue Eyes, it's not good for our deck, but it's cool because we got Blue Eyes. So it's like a win win no matter what we get. Dark Gray, Power of Kaishin, One Eye Shield Dragon. One Eye Shield Dragon. Okay. Mystical Sheep. Drooling Lazard. Oh no, Thomas Soul. Dragon Capture Jar. Should I play that for Blue Eyes? And Uma, probably not. Uma, Umi, I should say. IOC, give us another Chaos Sork. That could be really strong. One, two, three, four. Flippity flop, floppity flip, burning algae. Stealth Bird, that's a good card. Oh, Sea Serpent, Warrior of Darkness. We're going to play both those. Same with Blue Lizard. Terror King, we played like every card in this set. Uh, Ultra Evolution Pill. Coach Goblin, that was a very good IOC pack. What's new? IOC is a good set for dueling. I mean, that's crazy, huh? All right, one, two, three, four. Give us another giant rat so we can actually use two. It'd be great. Wall Shadow, High Tide, Peacock, who's on Peacock, NBC. Okay. 
Flash of Sand, let's Snake Fang. Mother Grizzly for Waters, and Mahavilo could definitely be usable with some equipped cards. That might happen. We'll see. All right, that leaves us with our final pack. So we got a little variety here with the other five that we haven't opened up. Then we have the final Legendary Collection open up. PSV, I would, uh, I would argue as a kid, it was my favorite pack just because I had Buster Blader and also Jinzo as well. So uh, also, I, it, Harpies or Sky Scout, as it is called now, I believe is inside here. It's got 18 on attack. It's like a vanilla monster. It's also pretty good. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say that name. Spike bots, inspection, no main extermination. This card is actually not bad. Uh, it's a backward removal. But the thing is, if they can flip it, it doesn't do anything. But if they happen to have like Mirror Force set or something that they can't flip, in that situation, I think it's actually pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my pile immediately because any form of backward removal, I think I just need. And I believe also it, let's see. Drag one face down, spell trap, destroy that target. And if you do banish it, if they flip it, like let's say it's gravity bind, does that still resolve? Because it's no longer face down. I'm pretty sure if you flip it, it's still fine, which is another reason why the card sucks. But again, in, in a meta where like Mirror Force and Sakuretsu armor existed, it could be pretty good. Minor Goblin Official, Mystic Probe, Zero Type Magic Crusher, Dimension Hole. And Dust Tornado is a great card. Immediately goes into my pile. Im oh, yo, also this Island Turtle as well. 2000 Defense, hello. Sword Hunter is not bad, but I don't want to tribute for it. Mr. Volcano and Light of Intervention. Okay, yo, that, we, we, hold up. PSV is bringing in the luck right now. PSV is fantastic. I think Labyrinth of Nightmare is the one that has um, the, the Nightmare Wheel, right? Stuff like that. Uh, DNA Surgery, Gift of Mystical Elf, Mystic Probe, Science Soldiers. We got nothing in this pack. Appropriate. Yeah, Flying Kamakuri. This pack was kind of assed. When you missed with packs in the OG, like Yu Gi Oh times, it hurt. You, you can get a whole ass pack where it's nothing playable. Solomon's Law Book, DNA Surgery, Time se time Seal. I think this is craftable now because this is legal in the OCG and TCG. So I think they may... Either it's not craftable yet in Master Duel or it was, but this is an annoying card. You just skip their draw phase. Roll Suppression. Morphing Jar number two. Actually, don't mind Morphing Jar. Morphing Jar could actually turn the game around. Anything that is a, is a, is a board wiper, I feel like could be useful. And it does, it does board wipe. It can board wipe. All right, the final PSV pack. Can we get Jinzo? No one rocks and he pulled two. You always pull Jinzos. Flame Champion, Bombarbin Beetle, Respect Play, and another No Man Extermination. Uh, I mean, I'll play it. It's, it's like barrier. It, it is back row removal, so it's something to think about. All right, and now we're on to the Vintage Pack. Look at the OG, the OG logo. So Labyrinth Nightmare, all I can think about uh, that comes off the top, I want to say, it's got the, the Nightmare Wheel. What else was in the set? I don't remember what else was in the set. Emperor's Holiday. We got, uh, we're not playing that. They just stay on the flames. Dragonic Attack. Oh my God. <laughs> These have to be heavy packs. Last Warrior from another planet, but I can't play it. I can't play it. There's no way to summon it. What do you need to summon this? Some Beard of the Dark and yeah, I don't have any of those. Oh my gosh. What an incredible. Line Destruction is actually decent, right? Yeah, that's the... That, I played that in, in, in a... Um, in a whatchamacallit deck. A dice deck. That, that could be useful. All right, so this one is a 2017. So there's our, our other package. We have all those. I'm going to put them in order now. So we're going to go reverse order. We're going to go Ancient Sanctuary, Vision of Chaos, reverse order, I should say. Dark Crisis, MFC, wherever you went. Stop hiding, MFC. MFC, PGD... Uh, L-O-D, L-O-N, P-S-V, Spell Ruler, Metal Raiders, L-O-B. Okay. Actually, you know what? All the all the older ones that we have right here are actually later. So we're actually going to start from the beginning because these are like the reprints. So we'll end with like the more original ones. L-O-B, the first 11 sets in Yu-Gi-Oh. Can some of the first 11 sets give us something good, please? Tripwire, because our deck is definitely not great right now. I'm going to say that. Teen Angel, it's definitely not great. It, it could use... A little, oh, that'll help. Fissure and a Triorn Seeker Rare. Okay, this is not a good card because we have Blue Eyes Access, but that's pretty cool to pull. Seeker Rare 2017 Triorn Dragon. Man, I love the old school style of the cards. That's awesome. Hey, look, Fissure's a great rare, though, so I'm not mad about that. Let's go to Metal Raiders. Look, I take another Seeker Rare. I would not be mad. One, two, three, four. Flippity flop, floppity flip. Give us that. I didn't floppity flip. Give us something good, please. Okay. Hibikime, Flame Cerberus, Armored Zombie, Little Swords in a Veil, Germ Infection, 
Blade fly, it's a terrible warrior. <laughs> we have Suijin and Kazijin, right? We can almost gate guardian it up. Okay, we're getting foils. Most of them are terrible. Spell ruler, first 11 sets in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe because we will probably be doing more of this stuff in the future. And let me know down below. What do you want to see from this? Do you want to see more of this style of video? And if you do, what pack should we open? You know, give us some ideas. Jiggin, we have Final Destiny, Fire Kraken, Taylor the Fickle, Flash Assailant, Labyrinth Wall, Rising Air Current, Heos and Root. In a tune world. Okay, I don't think we have any tunes. We are three for three on foils, though, out of this uh, legendary collection, which is pretty crazy. Can we go four for four with a Jinzo, please? I wouldn't mind a Jinzo. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, flippity flop. Gotta do that. It's worked every time so far. Skull Mariner. Gus, these, these cards haven't been great so far. I mean, the Fissure was good. Okay, Reign of Mercy. No, no thanks. We don't care about life points. DNA Surgery. Morphine Jar number two. That could make it. And our first non foil bubonic vermin. Now we're on to some of the old school packs. Labyrinth of Nightmare. There are some good cards in Labyrinth of Nightmare. There are some good ones. So let's see if we can get one of them for this duel. One, two, three, four. Can we get a foil? Spirit Elimination. Skull Lair. Hysteric Fairy. Cyclone Laser. Gadget Soldier. Six star for some reason. Fairy Guardian. Tribute to a turn. One magic card sent to the graveyard by your opponent during this turn at the bottom of your deck. That seems terrible. Offerings of the Doomed. Mega four phase B. Offer wait, offerings of the doomed is good. That's a quick play removal. And Rear Yoku Field. Negate the activation of a magic card that designates one monster as a target. Destroy that magic card. Okay, that's not the worst card. We might actually have to play it. All right, Dark Crisis. I'm I'm open this one very very last. Dark Crisis. Dark Crisis uh, has like the Exodia Necro stuff, which wasn't that great. And I think also you can get um, Don Zalug out of this. Because we have, you know, the, the whole Scorpion gang. Staunch Defender, Gaga Gigo is great. 1850 attack. Fantastic, actually. Wicked Break, Flame Break, Bow. All right, so I, again, any... Yo, hold on. We get some um, vanilla beat sticks? That's not bad, actually. I will take anything that has, uh, like, good damage. All right, next back, we got Seal. Dice Reroll. I could use that. Grawl. Uh, Pain of Money, Watch Bear. And Fear from the Dark. Fear from the Dark actually kind of sucks. Contra by Exodia, Final Attack Orders, yeah, 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 nothing, nothing. Cyber Raider, I don't want to see Cyber Raider's face after the stuff that happened on my channel like a year ago with that card. Card has, on Ironic, he got me cooked way too many times for no, for, for the dumbest reason, too. Okay, Zolga, I mean, it's got high attack, I can use it for that. Watch Bear, um, Trice, Bow again, and we're not getting any luck out of um, Dark Crisis, but that's fine. Again, if I remember correctly, this wasn't a, that great of a set. Invasion of Chaos was like the, the meta-defining one. That's the one that introduced all the Chaos monsters. Token Thanksgiving, Arsenal Summoner, Battle of Football, good defense. Drag Down to the Grave is actually not bad. Different Dimension Gate, and I should play Final Countdown because it'll be fun. <gasps> Sakuretsus! Never mind, take it back. Dark Crisis at Sakuretsus? Ooh, yeah, 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 never mind. We, we want Sakuretsus. Let me get one more Sakuretsu at least because I usually play two anyways. Dark Scorpion? Football. <laughs> Bro, I, I like how the card stock just goes from like new to old so quick. Dog Marin, Maju Garzette, and nothing. Lunatide, Battle Scarred. Come on, give me one more, one more Sakuretsu. Ah, hey, Sasuke Samurai is not bad. Never mind, this is the bad one. I was thinking of the other one. Again, I will save this for the end. This is going to be a long video. It's taking me 20 minutes to open this because we also have to do the, the duel still. All right, IOC, this is the one that matters. I need light and dark stuff, I need chaos. Give me BLS. BLS! Damn. 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 It's not looking good for the hero of the story right now. All right. DD Borderline, Jade Sick Whistle, Hyper Hammerhead, Chaos Sorcerer. That works. That works really, really well, actually. Rage Battle Locks. Definitely putting that in. Self Destruct Button, which we cannot craft, actually. You know what? If I don't pull any um, BLS, but I get Chaos Sorcerers, I, I think that's fine, because. Even then, that card is still a big win condition. I don't think I ever pulled BLS, but think about it. I got Chaos uh, Emperor Dragon, but I never pulled BLS. Until today, that is right now. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, no. Last two chances. Hey, you know what? End of the day, I got one. I got one Chaos Monster Sorcerer, so I'm happy. I'm happy. Spatial Collapse, Ry Ryukaki, Dawn Turtle, Burning Algae. 
Um, Pulse is a great card, actually. Uh, right into my cool pile. Uh, and looks like we are walking away. Still to this day, have never pulled BLS. In before, I, there was that one time, and I just don't remember. The final pack. But you, know, you know what? If I don't pull BLS, I'd rather be out of this pack, because we got the old stock. Zero gravity is actually not bad. Stumbling! This is Ruxin's favorite card. Yes, Kangaroo. And Robin Zombie. So nothing out of this one. But I see some potential cards I could put in the deck. And the final pack before I have to create my deck is this MFC pack. If I pull Dark Magician Girl after pulling the Full Art Dark Magician Girl a couple of days ago on my uh, second channel. Man, I'm going to do four from the back for this one. One, two, three, four. I don't normally do card tricks because I, I like to get right to the end. But I feel like with a pack as special as, as this. Miracle Restoring, Amazon is Paladin, Zombie Tiger, Vampire Orcus, Physical Double, Decayed Commander, Cliff the Trap. Wait, that's not the last card. Kaiser Calcium, and Helping Robo for Combat. Oh my god, we hit so many hollows except for in this pack, which is fine. Dark Magician Girl, MFC, eludes me still to this day, e even though I have a PSA 10 first edition, but I want to pull one. All right, so let me go ahead and craft this uh, this deck, and hopefully this is not going to be the longest video in existence. But if it is, at least I'll help you enjoy it. All right, Legacy of Darkness. We have a couple playable cards. Offerings to the Doom is definitely okay. For what we have access to, it's definitely okay. This is going to be a weird duel. One, two, three, four. Definitely old school. Double snare, devil snare. We have soul demolition, convulsion of nature. <laughs> We should play Convulsion of Nature. That would be kind of funny. Woodland Sprite never. Super Robo Yaru. Bark of Dark Ruler for our Arch Fiends. Wing Minion. Burst Breath. And Royal Oppression. That's probably terrible in this format. That's also a $10 card, though. So that's pretty sick. Frontic Guardian. Uh, do we have... We don't have any extra deck, I don't think. No fusions or anything, basically. I mean, we have a couple, like, really bad ones, but nothing remotely decent. So if we get meta, it's kind of irrelevant, I think. Trap Dust Shoot, not in Master Duel, so kind of the good cards in here are a little bit not as good. Needle Wall, <laughs> you know we're about to play that. Right of Spirit, we have Cobra Jar. There's Meta, it's a great card, but I don't think it's playable. We have a Coffin Cellar. Four packs left, we're on to Magician's Force. These were supposedly heavy, by the way. I got two packs from somebody who claimed they were heavy. Actually, it was, they got it from someone and I got it from, you know. But basically, they got, the first guy said they were heavy. I doubt they are, but it'd be cool. Both these are supposed to be heavy, mine and Rhyme Styles. So when you check out Rhymes, uh, where when you see Rhymes opening, hopefully we both get foils. But I have a strong feeling we won't. But Dark Magician Girl for one of us would be pretty sick. You have to play it if you pull it. White Dragon. Pineapple Blast. Normal summons a monster. If there are more monsters on your opponent's side of the field than your side, destroy your opponent's monsters so your opponent controls the same number. Might be playable. Freezing Beast. People running about. Spell Absorbing Life, Magical Plant, Mandragola, and yeah, there it is, the heavy MFC pack. I had a strong feeling it wasn't, but that's okay. I was hoping for something playable at least. Hopefully Rhyme at least gets something. But you know, if you, if you say both of them are heavy, that means they're probably the same weight. And then if one of them doesn't have anything, the other one probably doesn't, but you never know. All right, Ojama, Vile Pawn, Archfiend. We have another Archfiend, okay, Cyber Raider. Uh, Thousand Needles. Wait, Thousand Needles is kind of good. Shadow Knight Archfiend, not too bad either. Kelback, very good. Non-spellcasting area. Sukuyomi and an Exodian Necros! <laughs> oh, I'd be pumped about this card normally. I still am because it's a great pull, but not playable. <laughs> not playable. But that pack was extremely playable. This Legendary Collection is four out of five on foils. One secret. Two supers and an ultra, is that right? Wow, this is a really good legendary collection. All right, two packs left. The opening portion of this video is gonna be long. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That's a hiccup. No, don't don't start hiccuping right now. Don't start hicc hiccuping right now. I can't even speak. Ah, I'm battling the hiccups. IOC, we are four for five. Can we go five for six? Sacred Crane's not too bad if we need lights. Sylphid, also not too bad if we have winds. Crimson Ninja, Pinch Hopper, Death Kangaroo ain't too bad either. Blasting Runes. Chain Disappearance. Oh, okay, we broke the streak. Four out of six. Not bad. And finally, Ancient Sanctuary. There are a few good cards. Curse of Anubis is an ultra. You know, I'm trying to think of some other ones, but there are a few cards that every time I'm like, oh yeah, these are actually pretty good at Ancient Sanctuary. Four from the back. Come on. 
Sonic Jammer. Activate any spell cards. Weird. Pharaonic Protector. Desert Sunlight. Your side of the field to change the face up defense position. That could be interesting to activate if we have that field spell up. Uh, newbie and guard, or if we have like our, our thousand needles in attack or something. Uh, backfire. Second Sark. Three up Lakuta. Oh, and the Asian of Creation Venus is such a good card, but you need the Shine Balls, and we don't have those, unfortunately. Okay, it's time to build a deck out of all these pulls. This is going to be a strange deck, that's for sure. All right, so this is what we've come up with. So we got a standard 1800, 1850 attack beat sticks. As long as he doesn't have like Archfiend Soldier and Ninja, um, well, not Ninja, but uh, Mad Dog of Darkness, he should be great. We got some burn cards like Atomic Firefly. Also, if, if he destroys Black Pendant, that also does burn damage as well. I'm not going to pull this off, but Final Countdown in 2024 will be hilarious. If I can move with this, I feel like it's going to be a top tier moment in, in uh, the duel. I also, since we are dueling against Ruxin, I got to get my revenge from stumbling from a couple of duels ago. So this actually combined with Dream Clown can be super annoying. Shout out to C-Reax. And then we got our generic floaters. We got Mother Grizzly, Mystic Tomato, and Shining Angel. Honestly, Shining Angel is only here along with uh, Firefly because I can actually go into Chaos Sorcerer. And then Mother Grizzly will go into Yomi Ship and stuff like that. Got Stealth Bird for burn damage as well. So if I can get like control with like stumbling or something, I can get Stealth Bird to start popping off and then burning him to death. And then as far as the, the big cards, we got Sly for the Sky Drive and Rio Kaki. I think it's gonna be great. If I can get Chaos Sorcerer out, I mean, it's a Chaos Monster. It's ma it's magical. Creature Swap, I think it'll be hilarious if I can pull this off against like, if he gets his boss card out and I just snatch it, give him something weak. Uh, But other than that, it's just, it's, it's honestly just a pile. I got all the Guardian weapons, which are annoying. The big one is, I think it was uh, Bow, right? Yeah, Bow. Negate the effect of monster to show up battle. So if he has like Mother Grizzly, Missing Tomato, stuff like that, this card is going to be godlike. But yeah, other than that, uh, a couple of Chaos cards as well. I got Blind Destruction along with Dice Reroll, which would be funny over here. Sakuretsu Armor for defense, uh, Dust Tornado. So let's see how this goes. All right, I've put together our deck, which <laughs> it's a deck. Let's just say that. Okay, so we have Magician of Faith. First of all, obviously, Magician of Faith. Not a lot of good spells to grab, but it's still pretty good. Balloon Lizard, who can burn. He's also big 1900. We can bring him out with the one giant rat we got. Stealth Bird, if we... Where we are playing that defensive field spell thing. If this guy can't be destroyed, he just wins the game eventually. It's kind of like a wave motion cannon on a body. So you can at least destroy him a little easier. But uh, Gaku Guy or Panda, which I thought was the burn card. It's actually that it gains 500 attack for each monster your opponent has. So if he has five monsters, he gains 2,500 attack. How is this thing a level three? It's insane. It also does piercing. So that card's crazy. Four star Ladybug of Doom, Thousand Needles. It's a destruction on a body. We need that. Sukiyomi will help us flip stuff down and defeat it by battle. Giant Rat has a ton of targets in this deck. Kelbeck bounces back to the hand, plus has 1,800 defense. So if we have that field spell up, we're in good shape. Desk Kangaroo is one of our darks for our Chaos Sork. Mahavilo, one of our lights, plus the equip spells. Sacred Crane, another light. We, don't, we only have like three or four lights and then like for dark so it's not great blindly loyal goblin cannot be st stolen by anything i don't know if there's anything in this that he could pull snatch deal so i guess that could happen serpent warrior blazing apache just big bodies we have chaos sork sword hunter for a one tribute guy just so we can maybe get over some big guys share the pain removal malevolent nuzzler power up Guardian X Crawl. Yellow Luster Shield plus Course of Sanctuary will be funny. It's plus 800 defense. Offering to the Doom more removal. Fissure removal. Cold Wave if we need to, uh, you know, play through spells and traps. Tailor of the Fickle. This will probably come up because we're probably both going to have equip spells in our deck. So we can swap an equip spell to our side, which is pretty funny. This card's not very good either, but it can increase the defense by 500 and negates the effects of spells. So if we want to keep a guy alive in defense, which we might want to do. Paralyzing Potion works on everything but machines. Chain disappearances for a thousand or less. It'll banish them and everything in the deck, kind of like Nobleman. 300 pronged attacks really bad, but we don't have a lot of options. Robin Goblin can go crazy. Ryoku Field for spell negation. Pineapple Blast if he has more cards than us. Needle Wall will be rolling some die. Desert Sunlight, get him in defense. Staunch Defender, we can pick a guy we want him to attack, and they all have to attack it so he can lose all his monsters. Are we really playing Ojama Trio? That's the best we got? Surely not. We're not playing Ojama Trio. You know, actually, this might not be too bad. Because they can't be attacked. It can't be used for a tribute summon. You know what? Let's try it. <laughs> this, we're reaching for cards, yeah, as you can tell. All right, so Cold Wave is actually not craftable in Master Duel, so we can't use that. So I just added a second Gravity Axe Grarl. It's not going to make a huge difference. But fortunately, I didn't have to use any UR Dust for that Cold Wave. So I guess that worked out. Let's get to the duel. This is, I guess, our final deck, unless something else weird happens. All right, guys, we are back with, this is our third episode of whatever we call this, open packs, and then we duel. And so far, I'm just saying I'm 2-0. Oh, that's all I got to say. Wait, I thought I beat you in the first one. No, you didn't. 
Yeah, I did. I beat you the first one. You didn't beat me. You the beat first me the last one. one. What was the first one? Retro Pack. Remember Three Monster Reborns? Well, what was the second one? The second one was Battle Pack. Oh, you're <laughs> right. You're right. You beat me. You beat me. Will Goat. So we're technically two one. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. It's two one. But I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Okay. So it's two nothing. Bro, me. what was I supposed to do to two Monster Reborn on multiple Raigekis? <laughs> what was I supposed to do, man? And last time when I used three Pot of Greed. So basically, when I have three of something, I win. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's get to it right now. Let's make it three nothing. I okay. I'm saying that, but I actually have a terrible feeling because this deck is pretty bad. So let's see what you have. Hey, nice rank. Hey, just you wait, okay? My rank's gonna be insane soon. And I'm, you're gonna I'm, be, I'm, you're I'm, not... letting, I'm letting God decide who goes first. And he's gonna pick me. It's up to fate. Here we go. And I get to go uh -huh. second. Oh, first, yeah. First, second, 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 yeah. Because we end our turn, and then you're going first. Yeah, this is, what? They're gonna fix this, and we're not gonna have to say the, it backwards every time. You know, when I, when I finally memorize the quadratic equation I got to do every single time, they, they're going to add the feature finally. Yep, that's what's going to happen for sure. Ooh. We're going to be like saying, I go first, actually second, first, second, and then they're going to change it. I kind of like oh. this. Uh, <laughs> I kind of <laughs> like this hand. We have got a strange, this is a very strange star. This is going to be some weird duels. That's all I got to say. So I'm going to start off like this. Right, right, right. The question is, do I do that or no? You know what? Why not? Let's bring out one of my greatest cards. The Chorus of Sanctuary. Chorus of Sanctuary? <laughs> All right. See what you can do about that. Is that a wall? Did you just wall me off? <laughs> we'll find out. Depends on what you pulled. Well, let me let me go ahead and try this then. I summon the Sea Serpent Warrior of whatever. Okay. He's uh, yeah, Wicked Flame Break Bow. No. Not the equip and spell. We'll drop this. Wicked Flemming Bow. Now the question is, is are you, you strong just enough? You discarded a sang. You pulled a sang. Oh my God! No effect. Damn. That's crazy. It negates That's the crazy. Box. Yeah, you can tell because it says negate the effect of the destroyed battle monster. Oh, yeah. that's so bad. Okay, that's okay though. Because we will draw a good card. Okay, now I have to think. Okay, that is. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Bro is playing Chorus of Sanctuary. <laughs> I can't I can't believe you just whipped out Wicked Break. I didn't read the second part of this card. I was like, send one card to your hand to use an equip. This is garbage. I didn't read the part about You didn't use effect. any of the you didn't you didn't get any of the guardian weapons? The guardian well, I didn't use this one because it negates effect. Or it, this is it discards a card, is what I'm trying to say. They all discard a card, but they all do crazy stuff. Okay, then no, I don't. Uh okay. Well, no, I that, Take that back. You don't know what I have. I will be activating my paralyzing potion. <laughs> no way. You aren't going to be handling my guys anymore. Okay, I'm setting another card. Okay. All right, go ahead. What <gasps> will you do now? Well, that works too. Does it work? All right. Can First, you get through my I'm course of sanctuary? Mystic Tomato. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to attack this card. Come on, big mistake. Or nothing. Or Big nothing, mistake. And pass. Paralyzing potion is actually kind of crazy right now. Oh, you just made a huge mistake, buddy. You just made a huge... Oh, wait a second. Oh, yes, my blindly loyal goblin. You're not going to attack Mystic Tomato, though. Surely. I'm going to attack position. Oh, and you have made a huge... Oh, you know what, actually... Surely you're not gonna float my my deck into something better. I mean, there's oh, a reason why I got missing. No idea what is coming. You have made a massive mistake. You overlooked my tailor of a fickle. I will take control of your wicked breaking what? and steal the the 500 point bonus. Now I'm going to battle. Oh wait, should I? Oh, good question. Wait. What? Wait, wait, wait. I should have put that on the other guy. You know what? We're going to do this anyway. I got to wait. So I get the effect of this thing too? So I get negate? Yeah. The oh, wow. This is sick. All right. Yeah, yeah. So we're attacking this. Which I made a mistake and put my my, my guy in <laughs> Let attack. Let me. Let me. Wait. Wait, Why it did works. Work? Why did that work? I don't know, but I'm about to attack wait, the Wait, 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 hold on. What, what happened? What, why did that work? I don't know why that worked. I don't know if I don't get the effect. Wait, we got to read this. You're supposed to. Switch one equip monster to a target to the correct target. Okay, negate the effect of opponent's monster destroyed by battle with the equipped monster. 
Maybe it's because I didn't send a card or something. No, no, no. That's just cost. That's that's not. Wait, yeah, why, he, why, why, hold on. Is that a bug? I don't know because you got the effect on my giant rat, which is the same thing as tomato. Yeah. What? what I, I'm so confused. I'm really confused as well. But you know what? That's fine. Huh? Uh, you have stealth bird in your deck, by the way. What the heck, man? <laughs> well, that's a great card. <sighs> Gravity axe, growl. No! Oh, not more. Black Pendant. <laughs> I guess I was right to play Taylor, Taylor of Fickle. Holy crap. And I'm going to punch your blindly lower gobble. Let's see how low he... Oh, I can't attack still. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I guess I'll just... The Paralyzing card. Potion. This guy has three things attached to him right now. My d I'm mad that my dumbass forgot. <laughs> He's a 2800 wall. That's what he is. Oh. Oh, my next best card. Oh my I'm god. I'm still just confused why Growl didn't or um Flamebrook didn't work. Yeah, I, I'm confused too. I feel like that should have worked. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, I'm gonna I would I, I I wouldn't do that personally. I'm gonna do it. Ooh, yikes. Yikes. Ouch. Yikes. Yikes. Ouch. It's fine. Why, it's fine. Why is that can somebody explain the ruling to me? The yeah, we need to know effects. comments. And I can't oh, change freaking. Oh, oh, I see it! Negate the effect of opponent's monsters destroyed by battle. I still control the card. Oh, because it's not an opponent. Yep. Yes. If Reading it said cards. negate the effects of monsters, wow. I 15 year old me would have never known that. Reading cards. Oh, you know what we're about to do? No, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. This is an epic battle mm -hmm. right here. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm going to put you on the clock. Good luck. No, like literally, I put you no! on the clock. Oh, 20 turns. Wait, did that yeah, cost 2K? And I'm going to set a card and pass. How do I get by the over way, a 20? By the way, it, it's every turn, so now it's, it's really going to be turn 10 two. turns. Yeah. Oh, boy. All you got to do is out my sea serpent, oh, bro. Oh, 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 oh. oh, boy. All right, let's activate my yellow luster shield. Is this your whole strategy, just to wall up? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the clock. Oh, I can't wait. <gasps> oh, hello. Mm, I would like to activate part. my Ojama trio. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> yes, take my Ojamas. <laughs> now I will become even more powerful. Three thousand three hundred. That 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 is pretty powerful. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful. Uh, that's fine. I will just end my turn. Wow, okay, all right. You're still on the I, clock, buddy. The clock is happening, that's for sure. All right, here we go. Okay, that's a card. All right, I well, can't let's... believe I'm losing to Paralyzing Potion in 2024. Yeah, it's just too powerful. Okay, we're going to get rid of this guy because he's just a pain. You're going to take some damage for that. Take Burn. a little damage. That's cool. I've got AK. I can handle it. All right, let's settle down right here. Set card. Set card. Final countdown. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you nervous? <laughs> I am getting a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. Oh, Ruxin. Ruxin. Rux what? <gasps> Are you scared of earthquakes? Because there's a fissure breaking in the middle of the field, no! Ruxin. Oh, not my panda. Anything um, but I'm just that. Gonna, I'm just, I'm just going to pass. I don't got What gotta, in the world anything. are you doing? I don't have you're, to do anything. I'm in You're waiting for 20 turns. This is messed up, man. I'm fine. I am chilling. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is not good. Are you getting nervous? Have you ever seen a Final Countdown animation in this game? No, but we might see it today. <laughs> <laughs> Third six. All right, we got 14 turns. Doo -doo. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Ooh, what's a good card? I'm going to set this and just pass. Again, I don't have to do anything. And you're not flipping that card. So that's either a defensive monster or that's a flip effect. Here we go. We're about to draw something big right here. <laughs> oh man uh, yeah that's that's interesting all <laughs> right <laughs> this is not going well this is going great what do you mean <laughs> my defensive strategy doesn't work well against final mm. countdown <laughs> mm, not yet pass again i don't have to do it i hate yet. that chorus of sanctuary is helping your <laughs> your guys too oh yeah no it's great it's fantastic i'm not happy about this uh oh Oh, this guy looks familiar. How about my sea serpent warrior of darkness? I mean, you can you can try to attack me. It's fine. I would love to. 
I'm gonna go for this guy. The Ojama Oh, block. you go for the Ojamas? Yeah, I'll take the Ojamas out. Okay, that's fair. Take a little burn. Hey, I mean, I am taking the burn damage, which kind of sucks. Taking a little burn. That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna get there. Hey, Sea so Serpent, he's doing his Bruxton, thing. You, you've made a mistake, though. What have I done? You made a bit. Oh, you made a massive mistake. You know what? <laughs> Let's get rid of this. You're not playing the turn that skip. What the heck? Did you just tribute set? Are you playing Sphinx? Okay. You made what? you made a mistake, Ruxin. Pick a card in the field, attacks or destroy by the world of battle. I take a thousand damage. Okay. I it made was just a little burn damage. Dude, you just tribute set. I'm not happy about whatever that is. See, you should have attacked my face down, but no, you got greedy. You wanted to do an extra 300 damage. Yeah, I did want to do a 300 damage. That's true. Okay, you've got a tribute set. The question is... If it's Sphinx, that's really not good. If it's Sphinx, it's 2400 anyway, though. All right, let's find out. We've got to activate our Gravity Axe Grarl. Wait, how does this work against flip? I mean, it's, you won't be able to flip it up, actually. Wait. So you'll be at 23. That's correct. Yeah, I can't. Interesting. You're absolutely right. All right, well, uh, the question is, do I attack that now or do I get these Ojamas out of the way? Let's get these Ojamas out of the way. Cause your guy's locked that's, right there. That, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, I agree. He's locked right there. So, oh, the damage. It's so much. I'm going to Here. set a card, Amber. a suspicious card. It could be anything. Let's find out what it is. Dad kill it. <laughs> what is it? What you got for me? <laughs> Not Needle wall? Needle wall. That. So you 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 try to dice me? <laughs> I was gonna dice oh, you. Oh, turn twelve, turn oh, twelve. We are no. we are getting pretty close. It's getting hot. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, I love this. I love everything about this, Roxon. You know what? I'm gonna summon this dream clown. Is that okay with no. you? No. Oh, but I can't change positions. You can't change position. Yes, that's true. I thought you had something to change it. Fortunately, no, you don't. I, I, Only I, I seven did not. Turns. I did not. I did not. I made a mistake. That's fine. That's fine. You can keep doing that. I made a mistake. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately. Oh my god. Where is the cards that I need? Okay. Did you make a mistake or are you baiting me? Of into course I didn't make thing? a mistake. What are you talking about, bro? You know what? <laughs> put that put this card back in your hand, dog. I'm attacking again. You would probably like mirror wall or some crap. It doesn't matter. Put this card back in your hand. Compulse. No! Wait. Put this card back into your hand. Oh, that is bad. It's Put that bad. card back into your hand. You can summon it again. That's fine. If I wanted to get could. blown up real quick. You could. No, it's fine. You can absolutely summon it again. I'm just gonna just gonna chill out a little bit. No, no need to freak yeah, out. It's fair, it's fair. Turn 14. <laughs> it's getting hot in here, bro. It's getting hot. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, that's also a great card. Well, let's see what you've been hiding for the past like three years. Okay. What is this? Not very good against all your monsters. Oh, you saved that? <laughs> it can't do anything. It has 800 attack. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I get it. it. it even with the, the axe, it couldn't get over the Ojamas. <laughs> that is pretty fair. Okay. What are we going to... What are we going to do? I ironically, I was hoping to pull four-star Ladybug or Doom, but I did not. I did, and it kind of sucks. Okay. I mean, you uh, can attack my, my dream clown. It would make sense to do that. No, no. You're going for the Bert? You're getting greedy, bro. No, 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 no. This is going to work out perfectly. How? Look, your, your dream clown takes two turns. It takes two turns. Right, but I have I have back row. Yeah, I'm not worried about your back row. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, I want to so badly, but I can't. I want to so badly, but I can't. Uh, I want to so badly, but 17. I can't. This would have been so, it would have been so funny. Oh, yes. Now the, now the question is, is which one do you attack, Ruxin? Can you deal 1,900 damage in the last couple turns that you have left? I think you had like two turns left. Mahavilo? What is Mahavilo supposed to do? <laughs> Huh. It adds defense. It sucks. Oh. Huh. Huh. Okay, prepare don't, to don't. feel my wrath. So I'm gonna tell you right now, you probably should not attack with Mahavilo. I'm just I'm being honest right now, you should not attack with Mahavilo. Look, I, we ain't got time to be messing around. We gotta be attacking. 
Are you sure about that? Well, it's too late now. Oh no. See, I try, I try, I try to warn you, but you don't listen to me. That's okay, the you thing. Still got, you still got a set Why card. Why did that not activate? Uh, oh, because I only have, I only, I only have two lights. I only have two lights. Okay, I was like, do you not have any targets? What's going on here? All right, this is it. 18, <laughs> turn 18. We're gonna see final countdown? No, mm -hmm. we're not. Wow. All right. No, Again, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, if I was you, if I was in your position, I would not attack with Mahavilo. Oh yeah, you tribute set. What, besides Sphinx, but you haven't flipped it. So it's not Sphinx. What, Listen, what I, I'm, is it? I'm telling you right now, do not attack with Mahavilo. Wait, what were you saying again? What is Sacred Crane supposed to do? You say don't attack with Mahavilo? Yeah, don't attack with Mahavilo. Why? I mean, you can find out if you, if you want to just- I'm just wondering, like, why shouldn't I attack with it? I mean, you could try. No, but like, why? Figure it out. I just want to know, like, why should I not attack with Mahavila? Only one, I'm not going to tell you. If, if that's what you're hinting at, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> well, I am going to attack with Mahavila. <sighs> I try to warn you. I no. tried to warn you. I try. I tried to warn you. I try. I tried to tell no. you not to do it, but you didn't listen to me. No. I tried uh, to tell you, but you did not listen to me. Why? It's a tribute set, Ryu Koki. And he's 2,500 because of my freaking thing. I only added this card in a deck in case you pull BLS, but that even works better because it also stops. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. I got destroyed no. by my own strategy. No, Ruxin. Oh, we don't even get it. I don't even get a turn. We just see the final countdown animation. That's no. it? Wait, that was. It Oh, just the, the card. Word. We can't get like a fire animation. Whatever, bro. Whatever. Like nobody's ever gonna do this. We're not making an animation. I know. <laughs> why? Why did he have it? You didn't even need an animation to begin with. Oh, Whatever. I'll take it. Gosh. Okay, that's fine. That was a warm up game. All right. Final count. Oh, look, I've lost to Exodia in final countdown recently. This this ends now. No more of this. Okay. <laughs> I just can't believe that you just couldn't get over my wall. That's all you have to do. <laughs> I literally couldn't draw a monster. I was drawing just back row, and my back row sucks, by the way, besides a few cards, but... I, you don't say. The second you play Paralyzing Potion, I could tell that you are down bad choosing your Dude, deck. Dude, I pulled nothing, like, in general. Actually, I did pull Exodia Necros and some other cards like that that are completely unplayable, but... You cut Necros? his card! I had this card the whole last game. Oh my gosh. Yes, I pulled you Necros. Dude, one of my game boards, I went four out of six on it. I was pulling crazy, but oh gosh, what am I gonna, what the heck? You know what? This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. That's it. That's it? That's it. This is your best, this is the best you can do. I'm not scared of what you have. I, you should be, because you, you're, you're just gonna you're set a card to play final count. Never mind. Stop destroying my best card! Okay, so ruling wise, I think this doesn't get destroyed. Oh, it's not yeah. face down anymore. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes! Yes, I remember this from Duel Links back in the day. This was like one of the yeah. big spell tab rules. Yes, I'm like, good. The only I'm reason good. why extermination is good is because back then we would set any card for like bluff. So if it was a spell card that you set, it was great. Yeah. And also if it's like something like Mirror Forge or Sakuretsu Armor, it was also great in those situations. Yeah, but and you here it, it kind of sucks. Okay. So you have to I reveal think, your main deck. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I think what we just do here is... You better watch uh, out. Don't put anything in Needlewall's way. You know what could happen. I'm just going to summon Mother Grizzly, and I'm going to drag you down to the grave. Ooh. What? I wait, 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 wait. So this one is dead. Pineapple Blast. So these don't even do FYI, anything. I had Chaos Sork the whole last game. That's why it was completely dead. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's put this back in Come here. on! Of oh, goes to the graveyard? I thought it shoveled. How do you have it? I thought it shoveled back into the deck. I don't know if it went to the graveyard. I Why just do sense... you have all these good cards? Because I know how to build a deck. What do you mean? I pulled none of these cards. Oh, I'm scared of all these cards, actually. You know what? I'm going to get rid of Hyper Hammerhead. <clears throat> oh, that's a great draw. I'm going to attack for 1400. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so good. All right. What did you draw off of that? Card though, because the card I drew was great. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, hit First a three, all, baby. Free roll three. No, yeah, baby, that's no! how you roll me to wall. Okay, not bad. All right, let's do a little. Well, I know your hand was dead. Pineapple blast and uh the that the 
Everything goes to defense mode or something like that. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Ooh, that's hilarious. Uh, the card I just drew is actually hilarious. The Nintendo Dogs. The card that I just drew is hilarious. We are. I'm gonna draw something right here. It's gonna be sick. You're not gonna draw anything. We're we're ending we're ending this quick, bro. They had they had like 30 minutes of drafting. They get a 20 minute duel. You're not hitting the three again. There's no. <laughs> Keeping me alive, baby. Is it statistically higher to always roar in three? Can someone make sense of that? That's also nothing. That's pineapple blast. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, we are chilling. We're chilling. Well, I'm putting you on the clock, so I'm gonna go oh, ahead. Oh come and on, this. man! Let me face two. Go into defense mode. Hey, this is. You know why this is so special, Ruxin? Because you what? did this to me when we duelled a couple of duels ago. Stumbling! <laughs> oh, you are messed up, man. Oh yeah, but now you know how it feels. Now you know how it feels on the opposite end. <laughs> I definitely know now. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, three, baby. Oh, Finally, that'd have been three happiness. in a row. That'd have been insane. Okay, stumbling, 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 stumbling. I think you die here. I'm gonna be honest with you. No, I'm good. I'm good. Really? We're chilling. Really? We're not, we're so, not you, so you finally, you finally drew your monster that's summerable. Here's the thing, Ruxton. I'm always six steps ahead of you, bro. Okay. End your well, turn. Well, you have. End your turn. End your end your turn. Let me let me let me explain something real fast. Let me explain why we are just on different calibers of dueling abilities. That's still okay. All right, all right. I want to hear this. What is it? You want to hear this? Yeah. So you think I, I I added stumbling for no reason at all? And so you could summon first of Dream all, Clown. First of all, let me just burn you real fast. Number one. Let me just. I should have gotten rid of Dream Clown. That it. And then defense mode. There we go. Oh yeah, I guess you saw my hand, so you know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boom. Back to defense mode. Okay. Cause now you're officially under clown control, bro. Yeah, I'm not happy about this. I'm not gonna lie. Da 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 da. Shout out to Cerex. Uh, this is for every time you call Cerex Rudy, bro. I've never said I'm that. A, I, I will never I say am, that again. I am a I no, am a vegan right that. now. No, wait, hey, you need to have some respect for Cerex, man. Don't call him oh, that. I, that's rude. I'm allowed to do it. That's I'm rude. allowed to do it. Hey, that's rude. <laughs> Look, hey, you should you shouldn't say that, man. Hey, hey, clear that field. What you got, Kelbeck? You thought Kelvin was gonna do something? Anyways. No, it's not. It's not gonna do anything. It's I mean, you can, you can always just needle wall me. He does also that. I mean, you have Ooh. a higher chance now. You gotta roll a three or four here. Needle wall? I am hopefully, gonna roll three or four right hopefully now. Hopefully you roll like a five Come is great. On. Come on. Five is fantastic. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta we gotta get going. Put that in defense mode. You All know right. you know that set? Ooh. Pineapple blast? Choose your poison. So I have to destroy one? Yes. I mean, I I guess we'll destroy Dream Clown. Dream Clown, goodbye. Okay. That's good for me. I've okay. also never seen Pineapple Blast resolve. That's uh that's a first for me. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to do it when you summon Dream Clown, but I it's when you normal summon a monster, so it's kind of weird. Uh speaking of normal summons, I haven't seen many of those. Uh you have a stealth bird. And Correct. yeah, if I knew that and that okay. All right, let's try to keep my mad dog alive for now. Wait, why did you do that? Because I need to stay alive. <sighs> Wait, no, I, I don't understand. Why did you do that? Mm, hey, what are you about to play? Well, this. Yeah, just leave it face up. It's no big deal. But I, you gave me a defense boost. You could have killed me. I could have, but I have needle wall, dude. I, I mean, will roll yeah, a three. You are relying heavily on that, so <laughs> I will set this and just pass. Oh, big mistake right in the needle wall. You have made a big mistake. Yeah, you're but you're not gonna roll a two one. ones in a row. You're, is that what you're banking on? You are not rolling a one. That's the thing. Yeah, you think you're not going two in a row? We already saw two threes in a row. Mm, oh, come five on. back to back is kind of rough, but okay. All right, all right. Let's get rid of your guy with my malevolent nuzzler. Oh, malevolent nuzzler. That makes sense. The nuzzler is here, ready to nuzzle your bird. Okay, I was like, what, what was the, what was the, what was the plan here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to do some math to make sure I could actually kill it. Okay, <laughs> let's get rid of this dude, because he's he's right. really killing us right now. So we we still have a duel, then we still have a duel. It's not completely over. It's not completely over. Here's why. Here's why you're gonna lose, because you disrespected C Reacts in this duel, and I will not do that. It's gonna give me a very epic bonus right here. I see what you're doing. <laughs> <sighs> 
Mm. I actually don't have to set anything. You don't, because then you play right into my needle wall. Yeah, I don't have to set anything. We just end. Oh my goodness. No final countdown this time, huh? Don't need it. I feel like I have all the time in the world this time. All right, draw a card. Oh, wait a second. Okay, let's just roll a nice one right here. A singular one. Or a four. Okay, we've hit every number so far except two. Here's Don't the thing, put anything Rustin, in two. You know what my face down card is. I know what your face down card is because I saw your hand. He doesn't remember, chat. <laughs> He's trying to remember what it was. He doesn't remember what okay, it wait, was. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I got rid of Hyper Amaranth. You had Dream Clown, and you had the bug that does a thousand damage and it has a thousand defense so it's 1500 which means i can't get over with my dust kangaroo okay dust kangaroo the question is oh the question is i think it's time it's it's time look now's our chance to get out my sword hunt oh wait sword hunter's a two tribute what the frick <laughs> it sucks what the that's, heck? That's, that, that was the only reason why I didn't play Sword Under in my deck. I totally thought he was a six star. Oh, he's terrible. Okay, all right, never mind. I take it back. All right, we're about to take a thousand damage, which really sucks. So why don't you attack with the weaker one first? So oh, you I can thought do more he had a thousand, to... not a hundred. Frick. Ooh. You are getting kind of low on life points over there, bud. No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. Nobody worry. Okay, I'm going to set this card. I'm not going to summon Sword Hunter. <laughs> the worst card in my deck. All right, all right, all right, all right. What do you got over there, Stumbling? Uh, a pretty decent card. Oh, that will be so funny, actually. That will be so funny. Do I do that? I'm not in a laughing mood. I'm not going to lie. Do, oh, I, what? Do, I, do, I, do I do that? Or nah? What, do what? What are you about to do? You about to Econ or something? What are you doing? Nah, hold on. Let's, let's, you didn't let's pull play a Econ? Game. That's an ultra rare. Let's Let's play a game. Oh, wait, you did pull four ultra. You might have pulled Econ. <laughs> That's Ancient Sanctuary. That's one of the ones you got to. Oh, crap. Okay, you've got a set card. Dude, we're rolling three. Just make it easy. Roll three right now. Six, re-roll three. Six, re-roll three. A third time's a charm. Oh, my God. How many? Two sixes back to back <sighs> is nuts. That would have been so nice right there. You going to enter battle? Okay, wait, you pulled an Ultra Rat of Labyrinth or Nightmare, too. You're gonna, you're gonna, that means you could have Torrential Tribute. Wait, which one did you tell me you pulled? You said, I can show you one because it's not playable. Did you ever <laughs> show it to me? I no, didn't Last show Warrior, you. that's Halloween. You don't have Torrential. Okay, okay, okay. All right, thank goodness you showed me that. All right. Wow, that's actually really good insight to have, not to think about it. <laughs> defense mode. Defense mode. That's fine. He's probably better off in defense. All right, battle. Oh, he's taking it. You're not going to do anything. <laughs> You're not going to do anything. Okay, okay, okay. My panda gets weaker. That's fine. Do I do it? Do I do it right now or do I do it next turn? What are you going to do? You're not playing a burn card right now, are you? It might be. Because if you're playing that card that's about cards on the field, I'm cooked right now. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's, let's play a game. I summon Sangan. <gasps> okay, he goes to defense. Sure, yeah. This is what I was talking about. You're gonna burn me with Black Pendant. Uh, it's just it's just a simple, you know, 500. It's not that much damage. Wait a second. What's the what's the problem here? Are you gonna be able to kill me this turn? Be honest with me. No. You promise? Yeah. You promise. Bro, you see what my up to my field. All right, okay. All right, I'll let it go then. You better not be lying to me. Bro, you saw what's in my field. All right, all right, all right, okay, okay. I didn't know if you had some devious plot up, up your sleeve. Okay, saying in, I'm gonna take, you're gonna search. You might be able to search. Oh, pop this. Wait, that might be bad. Oh my God, I just realized you can technically kill me if you would have rolled correctly there. Oh, I would have had game. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I need to think this. Oh, wait, I can do piercing. I can do 400, 3K. Piercing? Maybe. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. Never mind. I thought he had piercing. No, he has just destroyed oh, his slower. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I was like, how are you going to do piercing with a full back roll? Yeah, never mind. I can't do piercing. Um. Now, I will say this. Once Sangan resolves, I can't I can't say what's going to happen to you. Oh, Sangan <laughs> is a problem. 
Maybe I need to, if I so, do, wait. So what I would do in this situation, in my opinion, I would summon Chaos Sorcerer and banish it. Yeah, if I, if I could, that'd be great. <laughs> uh, Plot twist, you look at your deck, you actually have no lights and darks. Yeah, I, I didn't play a single light. Uh, That's the only reason why I play Atomic Firefly and uh, Shining Angel. I'm not even kidding, those are like the only lights I pulled. The more like normal <laughs> models. Brutal like a, in the old old sets, there's not a lot of lights. It's kind of yeah. why I use, That's why all, Sacred Crane's in the deck. All the lights I pulled were um, like 100 attack vanilla monsters. <laughs> it's kind of sick. If I do, uh, okay. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, let's see it. Uh huh. Okay, we're gonna equip that guy. Yep. And wait, why'd you treat me that? <laughs> oh, cause you can just add it back. No. Wait, but I you need hold clear, on. I need to clear my space. <laughs> Couldn't you have killed me here? Couldn't I have killed you? No, I could have done like four four K, I think. Yeah. Okay. If I attack Battle. here, you're gonna have Sangin effect. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna attack you right now. Oh, okay. We're setting up for Sword Hunter, baby. Wow! <laughs> you should have attacked me, Ruxin. No. You should have attacked me, Ruxin. What are you, you saying? Should have, you should have attacked me, Ruxin. Okay. You should have attacked me, Ruxin. We're rolling a four. <laughs> I'm just saying. No way we pulled this. Rolling a four. Oh, interesting. This is a classic card from all of my decks as a kid. No, 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 no. Okay, re-roll, re-roll, re-roll. Woo! No, let's go! Yes. Let's go! This is beautiful. He's going for it. He's going for it. Okay, you have a set card. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? <laughs> I'm not liking the sound of hey, this. Hey, don't be a coward. Just swing. Don't be a coward, just swing, bro. Do I do I lose if I swing? Only one way to find out. You could just tell me, it would help. I'm not telling you anything. I'm letting you I'm letting you dictate your own fate. Just give me a hint. Nope. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> just oh, oh he's going for it, Chad! He's going for it! <sighs> <laughs> he's thinking about it. I love this. I love this. <laughs> what is it? Okay, oh my okay. god. It was a stealth bird because you you were acting like this is a new card. Not stealth bird. What else burns? It's not a burn card. It's not a burn card. Oh no! It's just like a jar or something. A jar or what other? You can't, you can't play fiber. You can't play cyber. It could be morphing jar. That'd be pretty pretty scary. It could be just like a man eater bug would be pretty good sir oh oh, oh i don't want to automatically surrender okay i think that's the game telling you that you lost bro no 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 you can't do anything i don't believe you you can't what do are you letting it go you can't do anything there's nothing there it's all <laughs> a bluff hmm. okay here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna summon helping robo for combat oh no what does this do nothing oh, okay and i flip Morphing Jar number two! Oh, I was right, it is Morphing Jar! Correct. Everything shuffles and I get to summon three cards, you summon two. Oh no. This is great. Actually, how does this work? Special summon in face down defense position. Okay, let's make it where you only summon two. I think that's what's gonna happen here. I don't think you know how this card works. I don't. <laughs> but this should banish it, so now it says two, right? Oh, I thought it banished just the ones in the deck. Okay. Okay. All right, that's my worst card. Oh. Not bad. Okay, fine. Get rid of them. These suck. Yeah, get rid of them. Garbage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Balloon lizard? Yeah, baby. Okay, I've seen worse. Missed activation timing on Malevolent Nuzzle. Rip. Nope. It definitely activates. And stumbling. No, I'm a level of nuzzle. Your your pendant activates. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, I'm at 600. That's not good. Hey, all you gotta do is just attack into my face down now. Oh, all right, I, the question I gotta though go is, back on the thing. What did you even say? I can't even remember. So you said, so you got, so your magician of faith is pretty much dead. What? Doesn't do anything. What? The other card you set was How balloon. How in the was world? It? What did you say? Also doesn't do anything. You set Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness? I think that's 2k defense! 
I'm gonna roll a three. It's fine. Don't roll a three. Woo! I'm dodging landmines. Come on. Okay. Okay. I need to think. I need to think. What can I do? Okay. Let's do this. Oh, what card do I want? Do I want Nuzzler or do I want Fisher? I think I gotta take Fisher. Switch me back to defense. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Appreciate that. Kind of helps you out. Ironically, stumbling is helping you more than anything. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> okay, let me just flip this guy up real quick. All right, all right. Um, hey, that's a long clock to defeat you, honestly. It's a very long clock. So I think I might have to go for a familiar face. Who I drew off the top. <laughs> Sword Hunter. <laughs> of course I draw him up again. Okay, um... Uh, let's just hope that that is going to be good enough for now. Hey, you know what's funny, Ruxin? What's funny? <sighs> but, uh, well, for starters, well, I can't activate this. I just drew a uh, final countdown. I We learned a ruling about this card earlier. Gravity Axe Growl! I hate to break it to you. But I'll play my Ryoku Field and the Ryoku Field on the that? Gravity Axe! Goku said no on that. Oh, yeah, your my sword hunter is threatening. You better watch out. I don't think I've ever seen Ryoki field resolve before. I pretty didn't I not use it against you. I thought I used it against you one time. I feel like that was the only time I've ever seen resolve. Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> okay, still avoiding that three. God, three is cursed now. Damn, I really needed that defense more forever. All right, sword hunter. All right, yes, <sighs> yes. My sea serpent warrior of darkness. Okay, okay, that's fine. Now, into the battle phase. I will activate my effect of sword hunter to pump him up. Well, I didn't know he grabs monsters. I thought he just grabs any equip spell. Oh, he equipped monsters to it. Got it. Okay, all right. What do you have over there? This duel is not going a lot longer than I was expecting after how this started. Ooh. Hey, be careful with those sets. Needle wall is going to hit eventually, okay? Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, I uh -oh. would have been in such a good position with that. Uh-oh. I would have been in such a good position with this. It's time for Gravity Axe Grarl. I will take my own. Oh, no. Battle phase, 3,150. Oh, no. It's coming down to one. Turn. Do you have anything to stop my sword hunter? I do. I just gotta draw this one card in my deck. One card. This is not it. <laughs> I thought so. so. <laughs> Setting card. Uh oh. I'm not totally. Uh, you never know. I mean, it seems like neither of us really pulled that great a back row. So. <laughs> no, I pulled a great back row just in the bottom of my deck. That's fine. Keep it that way. Sword hunter. Yeah, Sword Hunter, the worst card ever. It's actually not too bad if you can get him on the field. <laughs> you know what? You know, you know what card I drew that I said, oh, this would have been great. What? Ryukaki. Wait. How Ryukaki it, it destroys uh, monsters who are warriors and spellcasters automatically. Yeah, so but how would you have gotten it on the field? That's what I'm saying. If you, if I had it a turn before when I had Sea Serpent, oh field, yeah, yeah, it. oh yeah, I would have been in, I would have been dead. That would have been real. well. I did have Fissure, so but if, but if you had set it, then you were good because I would have had to attack it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. Then I would have been. I would have been. Well, I guess you could just you would have died and then Fissured and then next. Yeah, turn, I did have yeah. Chaos Sork active as well, so I, I had that. But the, I I could have had game, but you're stumbling. I was like, I can't. The, that no, I, I, I ironically, thought, okay. stumbling is what got me killed because I had so many chances <laughs> where I could have summoned a strong monster to take control and I couldn't. But yes. no, I have to dream clown. The double I edge have to of do the stumbling. Yeah, yeah. Now you know the double edge. Hey, the, by, that means I get to go first. So go ahead and choose first. You finally get to go monster. first. Let's see uh, how, this, how this goes. Ooh. All right. I'll make this one quick. This is going to be the longest video on your channel. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be really long. I thought it was going to be short after the beginning of that game. You almost killed me instantly. Mmm, that oh. is scrumptious. I like that. End that turn. All right, all yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> what a weird <laughs> duel, man. <laughs> what a great, what a great turn. I'm going to set this. Um, you know what? I'm going to just set this and pass. Go ahead. I don't like that. You're setting two cards. That scares me a little bit. Oh, interesting. All right. 
Ooh, you're setting a card. What should I do? Well, for starters, I think you should get Coral's Sanctuary out as soon as possible. Yeah, I, I probably should. Okay. Sacred mm. Crane. Interesting. Malevolent Nuzzler. Oh, you're over. You're overextending. Uh-uh. This sucker's about I love to that. ball out. Right I love here. this. I love that. Your ant doesn't matter. Okay. Dad it. <laughs> I that's love why, that. I, I love that for me. You no, it's okay. You, we got the nuzzle. You, we'll get it back. Oh, you're paying. You're paying. Oh, yeah. We're paying. We're not worried about that. Okay. All right. Let's see what get you got. Set. Okay. You owe me ship. That's a good card. I wish I had one of those. <laughs> Great card. Uh, so you're going to hit me with that next turn. So I got to go with... I'm also winning the mill mill out duel now because I uh, I have two cards ahead of you. So so this actually <laughs> this kills your card, doesn't it? Hyper uh, hammerhead kills my card. It'll bounce me it, if you're not destroyed by battle. Yeah. One of, that's battles. This card is not destroyed. Yeah. So if I attack over him, yeah. Okay. Let me try to get some uh, advantage here. Some get a turn. All right, here we go. Going for it. Okay. Are we just going to go straight for attack? Yeah, let's just take this guy out. Okay, fair. Just take him out. Back into your hand it goes. Okay. All right, all now right, what? all right. And the set, okay. Out it's a couple monsters. Those are some pretty good monsters you have over there. Do -do. Uh, I think we'll just keep it simple then. We will summon the enraged battle locks. He's large. And I'm going to punch you for seventeen hundred. Okay. And rage Likewise, you're getting kind of low. You're getting kind of, you're getting to the halfway That's point what, almost. Hey, this is where I'm most comfortable. Zero life points. <laughs> 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 okay, let's see. Oh, that is interesting. You know, I'm just going to chill. Oh, out. we're just we're let's, just let's try to preserve some life points here. Okay. Right, right. That's fair. That's fair. Try to preserve some life points. We don't want you to get too crazy. That means you just set um, the ladybug. Ladybug, don't summon another level four. You could be in trouble. So let's see what you got back here first. We'll hit this one. Oh, I, would, I wanted to surprise you with this one, but now that we know how this works, I'm going to flip it up anyway. Robin Goblin, okay. So don't attack me. You might lose a card in your hand. What? That's not how that works. Wait. Uh, Yeah, it's not how that works. You, Monster, uh, you, oh, you control. Inflicts, never mind. Wait, does that yeah. work? Inflicts battle damage? So what I'm going to do in case that is Ladybug, we'll just summon Dream Clown. Oh. Or attack for 17. Give me some piercing. Or will you? Oh, wow! It does work like that! That's what I thought! Ryu Koki! Yes! Wow! <laughs> okay, double whammy right there! The Thousand Needles! That was a crazy combo! <laughs> it was gonna be more exciting if you didn't know I had Robin Goblin, but that's okay. That's okay, I'll take it. Okay, you have Dream Clown. Wow! Crown. And my Ryu Koki, it was just like my trump card is gone! Honestly, that's your best card, so I'm glad we got rid of that guy. Ooh, let's bring out my blindly loyal goblin again. Okay. He's loyal. He's blind. So we're gonna play a game here. Oh no, fairy Losing box. Losing my hand. Losing oh. my hand kind of sucks here. Okay, I thought you were about to that's activate fine. fairy box. I was like, okay, the no, ant. Something... I knew you had the ant. Something better. Or atomic firefly, whatever he's called. Okay. Hand looping is crazy. You better watch out, Robin Goblin, my best card for Metal Raider. What is that? All I gotta do is roll four. Your whole field goes bye bye. Uh, that works too. Uh, Activate. Uh, give me a four. Give me a four. Give me a four. Give me a four. Oh, 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 gosh. I don't like the sound of this. Fisher. <laughs> That's gone at least. And, my best card. Uh, yeah, I think we just set this. Oh, this is not good. All I gotta do is roll a four. This ain't good. I rock it out. Robin Goblin kind of cooked me because I lost two cards out of that transaction. Yeah, that Robin Goblin was big. That was okay. What is your set? You've set a lot of different cards. Okay, 1800. Can we get over that? You probably had to set it anyway. You didn't have to, though. And you've got this blind destruction on the field. One thing that sucks about blind destruction, it also affects my field too. Oh, good. All right, we'll put out a level three then. So we can uh, hedge our bets a little bit. All right, blindly little goblin. Oh, dang, should have attacked with him. That's fine, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, you should have believed. Should have believed, okay. You have All nothing. Right, I need to roll a four. All right, Yugi, you're in top tech mode. What do you have? 
Four, 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 four. It's fine. It's fine. My my, my four, four, panic four, four, can handle four. it. Four, four or three four, is good for you. Four, 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 four. Oh, ooh, okay. It sucks. This is like the scarier version of Needle Wall. I'm not a fan of this. Yeah, I don't have to roll the the. the actually, I don't know, I don't know which is better because like no, I, I think Needle Wall is better because you're hitting the fields. Yeah, that's. It just if, times, if I had like four level fours, it could be really good, but yeah, but like yeah. If, if if I constantly roll like a one or a two or yeah, it doesn't really do much because four is like the most commons in old Yu-Gi-Oh. Black pendant. Let's power I am this on sucker the clock. up. Power this sucker I am, up. I am a little scared of this card, but okay, we can do thirty-three. You're on a two-turn clock with thirty-three, so let's let's just go like this. Okay, that back row is something random. All right, my panda doing his thing. Come on, I just All need right, a four. I'm gonna I just set need, this card. I, just, I need. I really need a four. If I don't roll a four <sighs> or three, I've I've given up. Four or three. Yes! Oh, finally! Oh, the heart of the cards! You I pay. will pay. I'll take my nuzzler back. And then we will set this. Fast. Okay, okay. I mean, it still sucks because I'm like, my life points are way too low right now. I wish I had that last turn. Okay, that was a good roll. That was a good roll. Let's see what you have set, though. I'm glad I didn't summon this last turn. Is this... Is this game. It's his game if you don't have anything. Nah, I got nothing. I got nothing. You got nothing. The Robin I've Goblin. Got nothing. Holy I can't God. believe the Robin Goblin wall combo actually was good. Oh, okay, but I had that. So I have a lot of combos with a thousand needles. I had that desert sunlight. So you think it only works if it's in defense. So if you attack it in attack, I flip up desert sunlight and goes to defense. I have all those different that, defensive Yeah, and then that was ones. like core sanctuary and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I was yeah, like, that, that guy's like my best card. I only have one of them though. So it's like, if you get him, he's crazy. But like, I only drew it this turn. It's so like the first two games I didn't even have him. Damn. Oh, Stop playing! That was a, <laughs> that was a look. I think we've all learned. You must respect the C reacts, and you did it this time. Okay, so you need to have some respect. Next time, it might work out. I played. I played a serious card. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. That was pre that was pretty good. I look. I appreciate the, you not finishing the, me off in game two. The, by the way, there's no other way to respect Eon more than to play his his uh, dream clouds. That's fair. That's fair. And you know what? So Those you clouds, destroyed the dream cloud. Therefore, you disrespected Dion at this end of the day. Look, let us know in the comments who disrespected him more. But right now, honestly, the dream cloud almost cooked me. So thankfully, I did get rid of it. Because in that game two, when you had the dream cloud, and what was the other card you had that I couldn't get rid of? Uh, uh, oh, the stealth bird. I was like, yeah, I am completely dead. I yeah. can't do anything here. Whew. Okay, well, that was a good set of duels. Rhyme style, thank you so well, much for doing this again. Wait, what were the best pulls, by the way? Uh, oh, right. Oh, you didn't even see it. No, I haven't seen them yet. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm going to send it to you on Discord so you can react to it in person. Dude, I had like the worst pulls. Wait, let's see if I can... Oh, I pulled I pulled probably one of the coolest cards. Where did I put my pulls? You should pull Richie, creature you can... swap too. Wait, did you play Wait. that? No, yeah, it's in the deck. I just never drew it. Why? And Fuchsia Richie, which is Fuchsia Richie playable at all in this? No, not at all. No, it's, it's not. So only dead. one of yours. I pulled yeah, like Exodia Necros. Here, I'll I pulled, share my screen. What else did I pull? It was like a th twin headed Thunder Dragon. It was like all these cards that I just could not play. The, this is this is what my deck was looking like. I knew like. you were going to play Slifer. <laughs> so remember I said I, I wanted to do this, but I couldn't. I had three monsters on a field and you summoned a card. So I would have been able to summon a zero attack Slifer, but you already had something on the field that would have killed it. <laughs> if you would summon a zero attack slifer okay let me let me show you my deck let me, okay yeah my deck is, is there anything you didn't see i did have a sukiyomi which i drew i think in the Sukiyomi's that last game one. i two of the pandas pandas actually crazy you if put you, share the pain in dude i had no removal i had to put something in there <laughs> that would have been yeah that would have been it i literally Good yeah like, attack. Is oh, that John trio? I realized Ojama Trio combo combos like kind of well with the Panda too because like he puts more cards on your side yeah, of the field. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it actually, I had some like really weird combos that like sometimes and also, would work. That that actually that's a crazy combo that actually does uh piercing with the burn damage too. Yeah, that card's insane. I was like, this guy's actually like really good. Like if you become thirty three hundred if you have Dude. five and he's doing piercing. Mad Dog and Dark. I, I told myself you're gonna have all 1900 attack vanillas. All my vanillas were eighteen hundred. 
I got one 1900, one 1850. Like it was, it was pretty brutal trying to pull them. I was pulling the worst possible cards. I think the only good like rare I pulled was like Fissure. It was like everything else was garbage. I almost played two Taylor of the Figgle because I was, I was like, there's no way we're not playing Equips in this. Like, we're going to have to be playing Equips. I did the opposite. I, I saw Taylor of the Figgle. I was like, nah, he's not playing Equips like this. Yeah, I was like, there's, we've got to at least be playing a couple. And luck, luckily, it worked one time. But Oh, no, nah, that play was insane in the beginning. Except that I didn't get the negation, which would have been even more epic. But, you know, yeah. it, was, it was all right. You know? I mean, to be fair, that's one of those Konami rules where you're just like, why did it do it like this? Yeah, it's like, uh, this card's like so niche. Like, why does it not just get the effect? But it makes sense because it says your opponent. So I also pulled Confiscation, but it's not craftable in Master Duel. Oh, yeah, that was the other one. I pulled Cold Wave and I was like, yeah, I'll probably play this. Like, not that it really would have mattered because we don't have back row, but I was going to... You're playing Kaiser Coliseum, by the way. I just noticed Cold Wave is not craftable either. So I just added yeah, a second well, Roro. My, my dream, I hate this card with the passion, but my dream was if I can pull Slifer out with Kaiser Coliseum, that's hilarious. <laughs> if you had Kaisered and stumbling, I'm like, oh my gosh. Wait, nobody got Gravity Bind? No, luckily. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get Gravity Bind either. <laughs> you got Dust Tornado, though. That's like a good super rare. Yeah, that was like one of my last... Um, PSV pulls out of the five packs. I'm trying to look. I don't even know if I played a hollow that I got. No, I think I played one. What was it? It was Mahavilo Super. Mahavilo, that's right. That was the only hollow I played. Isn't Malevolent Nuzzler also a super? No, it's a uh, it's a common. Oh right, right, right. Oh right, no, right. Ryoku Field. Of, uh, Ryoku I'm Field's thinking, a super I'm thinking rare. Of, uh, Black Pendant. Black Pendant. Hey, Ryoku Field actually mattered. That was my my super rare out of LA. I still can't believe you resolved that in 2024. <laughs> I was like, he probably has something that I almost, well, I was going to do it on when you use your pen, pin it on Sangan, but I'm pretty sure that it still would have uh, done 500, right? Because it would have gone you to play, the graveyard. You, actually, you play staunch defender? Dude, that was going to be awesome. When you were going to try to attack my panda with 800, I was going to flip you over into either it could be the uh, the blind the little goblin, or if I had set the uh, thousand needles or something, you could have. I mean, I mean, in in this in this build, it makes sense. In this build, it makes sense. Yeah. I just I have never seen this card in anyone's deck. Dude, I was reading all kinds of cards I've never read before, and I was like, look, this actually might might be the best thing I have because everything else is like anything generally yeah. good is terrible in my deck. All right, well, congrats on the win. Congrats on the 250k. Thank you. We will. We oh, look, guys. If you want to see more of this, and you, tell us what sets we should open so I can acquire them. And yeah, t t tell us exactly what sets you want because he gets the packs, which means I get to keep the cards. So like, right? So like, LLB <laughs> first edition. If you want to say that, he might be okay with those. You know? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You know what? You know what? We'll just do a, a Magician's Force box battle. You know, you just send us first edition Magician's Force boxes. We open Look, it. You know? It might happen. Who knows? It might happen. We might have to try it at some point. We might just do. We might just do some crazy something like that. So let us know in the comments, and we'll have to make it happen. Then rhymes. Rhyme can pull some great stuff. I'll pull nothing out of the box. He can grade PSA tens. You know, it'll be perfect for everybody. Yeah, I mean, you get to win in a duel at least. And I get to win the duel this time. <laughs> I, have a, I have a feeling that uh, this is going to come to an end very soon. But thank you for coming again, Rhyme Style, and appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Shout out to Stone Vosho, Ernesto Deanda, America Deutscher, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.